1944, days before the island's liberation, Japanese soldiers killed more than 30 young men and women from Agate and Sumai with grenades and bayonets in the caves near Fina Lake. 74 years later, dozens of people gathered at the cave site and paid their respects during the annual Fina Cave Memorial, July 19. As part of Liberation Day events, a site visit was held at the Fina Cave located at the Naval Munitions Annex on U.S. Naval Base Guam. The visit was coordinated between Naval Base Guam, Navy Munitions Command Pacific East Asia Division Unit Guam, and the Agate Mayor's Office. A memorial was later held at Old Agate Cemetery. It's a huge honor to be asked to participate, even for such a small part of it. Being able to come out to these events, hear the stories from survivors, relatives of survivors, you get an actual taste and feel for what they must have gone through when the Japanese were occupying this beautiful island. During the past several years, the NBG commanding officer has invited the victims' families to visit the cave as part of Liberation Day ceremonies. Captain Jeffrey Grimes said he was honored to have been a part of this ceremony to remember the significant events that took place at the Fina Cave in July 1944. Well, this event is, is just another embodiment of, the, of our uh, One Guam effort to understand the culture, mm -hmm. to, uh, to relate, and uh, to realize we're all American citizens here. We're all really searching for peace, and we do that by the profession of arms. It also helps us uh, take a step back and, uh, and realize that as Guam, as proud U.S. Uh, citizens as they are, have a long history, a, a proud culture, uh, a beautiful natural resources that are available to us, and that we should march forward every day. Uh, although we, we're doing this now in remembrance of uh, a liberation and a tragic event, it brings to mind the beauty and the peace and the, and the love of this island that we are, as American citizens, upheld to protect. Agate Mayor Kevin Susuiko acknowledged Naval Base Guam and all the military volunteers for their continued support of the memorial. There's a lot of coordination that's involved um, as we as we honored today uh, at the actual cave site. And if without, without the uh, combined efforts with the military, it would be quite difficult for us to actually see the most important part of where the, uh, the atrocities have happened and where they were um, killed and where they suffered the most. And so we're very thankful that uh, the military is always welcoming uh, our community every year. Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Teresa Murto Cepeda.